Dave. Welcome back everybody, James Fightful with ACCU. And if you haven't already, I always have to ask, go smash that like and subscribe button. Okay, now getting right to it. I have to give a shout out to April Arnson uh, with CIT Bank. She had sent me a link, uh, which brought me to a video and I wanted to bring it to you because I think this is very important. Um, this is the type of management, in my opinion, that gives HOAs uh, a bad reputation. Now, I would like to hear from you on if you defend the position of this board or if you defend the position of the owners um, and the residents of this community that come out to speak. So let's jump into it and see what they have to say. Ready, go. Nine-year-old Jason is concerned. I'm still worried a little. I'm still a little worried because I don't, it's just, I don't think, I, I just think it's going to get all stolen, you know? The sheet of paper is the cause for the concern. A list left earlier this week by Homeowners Association of Auburn Greens that mandates leaving garage doors up from 8 to 4 Monday through Friday. I feel like that's overstepping. In a minute, we're going to hear about why the board decided to make that decision. However, the personal contents are inside of the garage. And I believe with the nine-year-old at the beginning of the segment saying, I'm worried. I'm worried my things are going to get stolen. So I have to side with them, the homeowners in this one. I don't think it's a good idea because... They're gonna steal my bike. I got electric scooter. I got, like, I got um electric wheelchair. I got all kinds of stuff. I, I I just don't think it's a good idea to have it open. For every home like Jason's that is following the new rule, there are plenty of others that are not, like Shally Ia. I have nothing to hide. I understand somebody has people living in the garage. I don't. I am following the rules. Apparently. What this lady just said was that the board had found that an owner had somebody sleeping in their garage. Now, I don't even know if that's a violation of covenant, but they didn't like it. And so they enforced on everyone in the community that the garage doors needed to stay up between a certain time in the morning until night, Monday through Friday. Now, I feel, again, way overstepping. Those are the types of things that, that should not be allowed in a homeowners association. I understand trying to protect uh, the community, but I don't know if that this is adding a protection. It's adding more risk. Let's go back. All I'm asking is a reasonable way of going around this. If you want to do a monthly, a bi-monthly inspection of my garage, I have nothing to hide. If I have some... Would you be okay with your association do a monthly or bi-monthly inspection of your garage? Go ahead to this comment section below and let me know your opinion on if that should happen. There's going to be a differing of opinions here. I know for a lot of community associations, parking is uh, limited, extremely limited in some cases, and therefore, the association does not want people to use their garage storage and make sure that they're uh, using the garage to park their vehicles. And in that case, would you support uh, monthly or bi-monthly inspections of a garage? Thing that's being stored in there and you don't like it, I'll remove it. Residents say a $200 fine and an administrative hearing are the potential punishment for keeping the door down. But for some, paying the fine may be worth avoiding a burglary. Let me give you the $200 fine right now. Give me a month so that I can get my stuff out and I might as well empty everything out and leave the garage door open permanently because there's no point in having a garage door then. A call to the Homeowners Association for Auburn Greens wasn't returned. And the office was closed during the hours it had posted as open. As some residents seem to be testing how open the garage needs to be, regardless of the choice to keep the door up or down. I experienced this as a community association manager often. We saw that the association asked that the garage doors be kept up Monday through Friday. We saw some residents just not complying. Uh, one of the residents here saying, go ahead and find me the 200, I'll pay the 200 to be able to keep my door closed. That's one option. Uh, the other option that we just saw was how open does it need to be? Uh, one of the homeowners put a paint can uh, underneath the door and lowered it onto that paint can so it was it was open just a little bit and is that in compliance so um, it's it's interesting to see how owners when they are adverse to something that the board is trying to implement how they will test the association and that's just a little example of it right there it's something that we deal with a lot as a management company a common disdain for the rule i hope it does change i hope it does 
that's that. Pretty interesting. April, again, thank you for sending this to me. I think it's important that we get this out to our community and we start to create a broader discussion around these particular issues when it comes to the management of homeowner associations, because the more we know um, about, you know, the responsibilities of the management company, the responsibilities of the board, the responsibility of the homeowners, the more I think we can start rowing in the same direction to get along or at least the best we can. And thank you for being here with me today and taking a little review of what is called HOA demands homeowners to keep garage doors open. The link will be in the description below. Again, James Pfeiffer, and until next time, I look forward to bringing you additional content soon. Thank you.